Hey, Norman, good evening. We walked Olive Street with the governor and Mayor Craig Greenberg today, surveying damage such as this. So I want to point out this tree. There was a tree here this morning. This car was covered by a tree. We didn't even know this car was under that tree this morning, but that's how fast crews have worked to get this tree cut down because now you can see this car. But as you can see, there's really not much left of this car. You can see there's wires on top of it, branches on top of it, and that's some of the damage that crews have worked pretty quickly to get cleaned up. And let's go to the governor because again, we were with him today and luckily they say there were no injuries. This, this was the more impacted area. Yeah. Governor Andy Bashir joined Mayor Craig Greenberg Friday to tour the damage in West Louisville, checking in on neighbors impacted by Thursday's tornado. There's a daycare in the basement. Governor Bashir says you can replace things, but not people, saying thankfully no one was injured. For a tornado to come through an urban area like this and to have no injuries, we thank God. His message to people in West Louisville, he stands with them. We will get through this and we'll get through it together. Tornado sirens did not go off on Thursday, something neighbors brought up to the governor and the mayor. Greenberg says the tornado came in so quickly, it didn't register fast enough on the National Weather Service radar. For sirens to go off, the National Weather Service needs to issue a tornado warning. Because this all happened so quickly and without warning, that does not happen often. Uh, but unfortunately, that's what happened yesterday, and so that's why sirens did not go off. Emergency management is in conversation with the National Weather Service to see if they can avoid that in the future. As they work to assess damage, neighbors like Bethany are still dealing with the aftermath. We didn't realize how bad the damage was until we came out here. She and her family hid in the basement while the storm unfolded. This branch smashed her car on Northwestern Parkway. I looked out my window and thought my roof rack was just off and then I came out here to find out the entire car got wiped. Thankfully, she and her family are okay. Everyone's okay. Thankfully, I wasn't in that car. Greenberg says power has been restored to 11,000 customers who lost it during the storm. Greenberg also adds that nobody was displaced during this storm, so that's some good news there. But you can hear the chainsaws behind us right now. A neighbor is working on getting this tree down. That was a part of another tree. It fell across the street into this home over here. Coming up at 6, we'll have more from how local leaders are looking to help residents. Reporting live, Madison Elliott, WLKY News.